Hey, Brian Wilson, Texas Lawhawk, say Funky Town Podcast. Funky Town Podcast! What? Funky Town Podcast! Funky Town Podcast! Funky Town Podcast? Funky Town Podcast! Funky Town Podcast. That was Gum Love by Phantomello. That's also our guest today. It's Will and Panda. Yo. From Phantomello. As well as Man of the Hour, Mr. Cover himself, Joe Tacky. Oh, hi. I've got a copy right here. Would yeah, you like I would. Yeah, yeah, I'll take one home. I just picked, I just took an entire Fort Worth Weekly yeah. newsstand home. <laughs> There's a lot of, uh, no. a lot of discussion of what you're looking at on your fingers. <laughs> Dude, so, I don't know, I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if I should. Yeah, okay. Yeah, anyway, it's a roach. It's pull, a plastic roach. Pull back the curtain. And also, yeah. Susie's here. Hello, everybody. I was going to say the, the coolest girl in Fort Worth. The hey, pictures thanks, they pick. man. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, <laughs> it's just what the paper says. It, uh, I mean, right? It does. I've got it framed and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I've got some competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we have Fanamella Fan here. You guys had your EP release on Friday. Yeah. Lola's. Um, what's the title of the new EP? Pet Your Dog More. Yeah. I think that's good advice. <laughs> yeah, really yeah. Is. yeah. There's actually, there, there was a study saying that, um, I can't remember what the time was, but if you spend, say, like an extra hour a day, just throughout the day, but spend like an extra hour time petting your dog, mm-hmm. they'll actually be healthier and live longer. We, we need the affection, and they need the affection too, and mm. so. That's it. If that's you can true, spend more yeah. time with your dog and love on them a little bit more, it just yeah. it keeps them healthier. Yeah. I just. I kind of, I've always felt sort of bad for animals that we leave at home and stuff, you know, you keep them cooped up all day, and then when you get home, they go all crazy, and mm-hmm. they're super happy to see you, and it's like, dang, I need to be hanging out with you a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, my dog more. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, a basset hound, and yeah, she has separation. Anxiety. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and so, like yesterday, <coughs> the wife and the kids went out on the porch to color, 
and they were out there maybe like a minute or two and all of a sudden she's inside <laughs> oh, she's like we're right here she had to go inside be like we're right here. she goes to the door and sees them and it's just fine and she, she thought they left you know Man, that is exactly what my my parents dogs do as well it's it's so weird because when the trash man comes it's like it's like these poor dogs are being boiled alive they're like <laughs> yeah we have a lot of dogs in our neighborhood but i like it mm-hmm. they bark a lot and you can tell when it's like the normal just barking and when it's like the more aggressive bark you're like all right what's oh, yeah. going on outside I have to go outside and look now it's not the normal barking the, isn't that yeah. the entire reason we domesticated dogs pretty much yeah. probably yeah. my dogs are very protective oh good. that's good yeah Mine are like, oh, hey, what's up? I might bark, but, you know, come pet me. I don't care. <laughs> That's the way our dog <laughs> We could be getting burgled in, and the guy, and, and Babu's going up there and getting pet. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a guy walk into our house. It was probably two years ago, three years ago. I guess his friend used to live there, and he just parked and just walked up, and the door's unlocked, and he just walks in, and Willow just looks up at him and kind of rolls over to get, get a belly <laughs> rub. <laughs> you know? and, and my wife looks up and is like, um, he's like, I'm sorry, is so-and-so here? She's like, I don't know who that is. And he's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I am so He's walking out, you know. <laughs> my, my, my buddy used to live here years. I thought, I'm so sorry. You know, and he just kind of left. And she's like, thanks a lot, dog. <laughs> like, I could have told totally, <laughs> you know. How long had you guys lived there when that happened? Maybe a couple of years. Wow. You know? I mean, so if you haven't been to a buddy's house in a couple of years. You might yeah. want to call first. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> trying to rekindle that relationship. Yeah. Just or, picking yeah. up where they left off. Or maybe his buddy lives a street over or yeah. something, and they're just on the wrong street. Who knows? But yeah, he just... That's, that's happen- yeah. Does it happen to, 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 to any of y'all like where just a random person just walks into your house? No. 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 Uh, I've no. actually done that You've before. You've done that before? <laughs> I've done yeah. it and had it done to me, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. So I, like I was... Uh, yeah, exactly. I was drinking and I and I oh, went up yeah. to the wrong floor, but it was like this the same map on every floor. Mm-hmm. And I went into the wrong house, and there were like two people on the couch. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> "That's so funny." Yeah, you get blasted for that here. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, but most I mean most of the time it's like you're totally innocent. They're totally like shocked. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, oh, hey. <laughs> My bet, you know. But yeah, now I've done that because it's just all the apartments look ex- exactly the mm-hmm. same. And if you're not paying attention and don't go up far enough or whatever, and mm-hmm. they don't have something hanging on their door to kind of uh, differentiate it from all the yeah. other doors. And then you're just all like, hey, man, I just, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But um, cool. All right. Yeah. So the uh, song we, that we, we, we just played was Gum Love. That's right. Um, that's the first song off the EP as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, y'all did a video for it. Mm-hmm. We did it with Coffee Pot. That's right. Yeah. That's our friend Ian. Yeah, he Ian's that. dope. He's cool, huh? <laughs> he really yeah. is. Have yeah. you seen the video? Uh huh. The video is awesome. It's so good. I like how he makes jokes with just a straight, dry face. Oh, I know. oh seriously, it's so funny. He's a good dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Then I met the drummer last night, and I was his name's Jeff. Yeah. I remember. Okay. That's Jeff's. Oh, stick a lot of drummers. Are Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff's are mics. There's a lot of mic drummers. That's true. Mm-hmm. There are. There's a lot of Zach bass players. Huh. There are a lot of Zach bass players. That's actually Panda's real name. Mm. Yeah. Zach. Yeah, Zach. Zach bass player. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, see, see, I did it at a day's end. Yeah, we just thought, you know, whatever. Let's get a CD motel room, and days in just came to mind. <laughs> <laughs> so who comes up with the idea? Does a uh, do Ian and those guys even like with you guys? Did, do they come and say, hey, I've got an idea for a video? No. Well, or do you all say, hey, we have a vision and we want you to try to make it? With exactly. ours, we, we wrote the script for ours. Okay. And then Ian directed it. But and you did the same kind of thing? It's exactly the same. Okay. She had the, the idea for the video. And then, um, you know, Panda's really good at, you know, con- everything. Like bringing everything, <laughs> <laughs> bringing concepts together and making them, like, um, more feasible. But at the end of the day, we're not actors. We just have, you know, some ideas. And we handed them to... Anthony and Ian and uh, those dudes just told us what to do and and we listened to them yeah. and it ended up being pretty cool. We're happy yeah, that's them. what's cool about working mm-hmm. with them is they're like, here's what you need to do, you know, and tell they kind of work with you on how to do it because um, yeah, obviously none of us are actors, you know. Yeah. Like, I couldn't tell that from the burglary scene. I know, right? <laughs> I look like a fucking pro. Because yeah, it's just like totally. Really good direction and editing. <laughs> Rebecca like tumbling in the window. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's actually a pretty good actress, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. Now, both those videos are great. Now, the one thing that they do have in common is that there was a um, 
man dressed as a woman in each one of them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be a theme. It now should be now. Stepping into yeah. Because I don't think it was an intentional now. theme, but I think at this point now you have to make a third one with you know. In fact, that's that's one of the funniest things about uh, me, motor scooter, and us. Like we independently come up with a lot of the same ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's it really like weird, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. you know, it's cool because we love you guys. I think I think you guys come from the same sort of areas and mentally it's that we from do. The like same cloth. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a all Fenamilla weekend for me. Uh, was that y'all's release? Y'all were at mine. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Here we, we are again. <laughs> I was at all three too. Yeah. 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 Weekend too. Right. yeah, I didn't make it to the, <laughs> the Lolo's one. I wanted to. I mean, I had a big day on Saturday, and I couldn't be out that late. Yeah, I, I and shouldn't. We, and we had mass miscommunication <laughs> <laughs> yeah. about where we were meeting. Because <laughs> yeah. I was originally, I was, I told her early in the week, I'm gonna go to Lola's for you, f- for, for and you guys. And that's what thing. I said too. And then come Friday, Dustin had made like an offhanded comment. I think it was just a joke about right. being at the Tin Panther in a suit. And I was like, well, I can go to the Tin Panther and hang out because I want to meet her friends. And so they were going to go there and y'all were going to play too late. So I was like, I'll go there and, and hang out with Josh and the Jet Noise and Bruce Magnus and Dustin. So then I get there. Dustin's not there. He's doing something. He's, he's not going to be done in, until late. And he's going to Lola's. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. He came to Lola's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, she's like, we're going to go to Lola's now. And I was like, well, dang it. We should have just went to Lola's first. I don't want to go somewhere else again. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to bed. So then I go home. And then Joe's all like, oh, Lola's. You know, I was at Lola's. Dustin's at Lola's. Everybody's at Lola's. I'm like, ah, I should have went to Lola's. But Saturday, when I was out on, on the lake all day long, I was glad that I had plenty of rest and I was hydrated. Yeah. Got to do it, yeah. man. Got to do it. I will tell you, though, um, I don't know. So, how long have you guys been a band? Has it been a year? Uh, Almost? A little, a little two? over two years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, it was last year, it was, I don't know if it was June 23rd or if it was right around there, but um, every year on my wife's birthday, we go see Henry the Archer. Henry the Archer. She loves uh, Henry the Archer. Yeah. And so that's our, even this year on our anniversary they played, so we went and saw Henry the Archer on our anniversary. If there's a special event for us and Henry the Archer's playing, which they are a lot. We tend, that's what we do for, for our celebration. So on this day, her, her, her birthday, we go to Arlington and um, c- go to, to Division Brewery. And you guys played with them in Vodio. Yeah. Dude. And, and it was middle of June. And uh, that's, that's first. I didn't. I'd never, I don't think I'd even heard, heard of you guys. And I went in there, and I don't remember if it was the first song you played or if it was the first song that I heard. It was the two. One of them was a real surfy yeah. instrumental. And the other one was the, rah, 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 you know. <laughs> and then I think I, after that, it got into more of what the EP is like, yeah. you know. Um, but I was like, oh. And then I saw you guys again at Twilight with mm-hmm. m- a motor scooter. But I was like, I really wanted to go. It's like, I want to go see this band because I kind of, now that I know what to expect, I just had no idea what I was, you know, what, what, walking into. But uh, Yeah, we like to keep people on their toes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, are these guys like a heavy band? Oh, no, they're, oh, wait a second. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta I mean, see them again. Yeah, know. there was a point where we had a bossa nova song in there. It was like yeah. six <laughs> minutes of bossa nova. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I love it though. I like all the all the changes. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I met a buddy of mine there that I hadn't seen in a while, and uh, asked what he, he he was doing there. He goes, "Oh, because a friend of mine is in a band, and he said it was your guys' band. I don't know, but um, my buddy is Chris King. Do the one you on? Oh, know Chris? dude, Chris is yeah. We yeah. go way back. Yeah. I love Chris. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he was he was there that night, and he was there. To see see you guys, and I used to work with him. Matter of fact, he was he's on one of these episodes, like the early early on, because um, he used to do photography. Yeah, and he would do some of the some of the kind of guerrilla stuff where you sneak into places you shouldn't be at and take pictures of those kind of. So we uh, talked about that. Yeah, and that was early on, like episode four or five or six. Wow, he was on. Yeah, and so I was real happy. I was, it was cool to see him. But yeah, yeah. but he, he said that he was friends with you know with with, with you guys. That's why he was out there. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was out there Friday as well and uh, spreading the flu around see, for everybody. I miss Chris what? King too. <laughs> oh, he had the flu. I'm glad. I nice one, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> That's chrisking at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got the flu, you know where it came from. Oh. The bartenders are cursing him now. <laughs> yeah, but now I've seen y'all play just, you know, three or four di- di- different times now. I mean, I think you guys are, are really good. Um, what's the guitar player's name? Uh, Will. Will. There's two of us. Okay. Yeah, two Wills. A, a Jap panda. and a Panda. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, we got the will to be weird. <laughs> um, it sounds like you worked on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> so how did everybody meet? Um, so I had um, 
just left my former band Space Coyote and I was looking for a new group to play in and Will messaged me on Facebook and we started brainstorming and talking about what this band would be and I worked at the time I worked at um the Brian Blue Show in Fort Worth oh, really? and yeah yeah and then um Jeff worked there too and he told me it was a drummer I was like hey you want to come and jam with uh, my friend and be in a band he's like sure okay and so we get there and he's like really excited about everything but then like about jamming and then he, he thinks we're just going to go jam he doesn't know like this is I asked him to be in the band right? I guess he just forgot to, to listen to that part mm-hmm. and like so we'll start talking about the the band what we're going to do and he's like oh we're, we're doing a band thing <laughs> <laughs> we're not just jamming <laughs> And he's like, oh, all right, okay. And then, so that's how the the trio formed. And we met Will. We actually yeah. didn't even end up jamming at all that not, night. Not that night, We were no. just talking and, and, like, playing each other annoying music. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Dude, check out my SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you are playing, so, so you don't want to play in, like, your favorite songs, like, no, it was just like was I'm really like, influenced by this band. You're actually playing like stuff for, that you yeah. did before. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just silly stuff. Like I wrote like this hip hop kind of track, sort of inspired by a Tribe Called Quest. I was like, dude, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> was he properly impressed? Uh, he was like, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess he was intrigued enough to come back and and actually do another. A, Full on jam when they like, yeah, was, yeah yeah but w- the way we met Will is a is a crazy story. Let's hear it. Take it away. No, you take <laughs> it away. No, you take it away, dude. I'm Hurry just up. Take it off. <laughs> no, um, well, um, we kind of went through like a little hiccup in the band, and uh, Panda was like, "I don't know if I can be in the band anymore." And I was like, "Yes, you can, but if you don't want to, it's it's cool." So I started looking for a new bassist. And then um, I talked to Panda into staying, and we'd already arranged to um, to meet up with Will anyway. I was like, "Just bring your guitar, bro. Don't worry about the bass." <laughs> and uh, he ended up being a really good addition, and like we're really stoked to have him on. Yeah. So I mean, it's not that crazy. Not not that crazy. I want to hear Panda's version of the yeah, story. I know. <laughs> um, so we were at a bar, a gay bar, uh-huh. and um, you know we're listening to some fucking ACD cover band and i'm like this ctc acdc whatever mm. <laughs> and i was like okay well this sucks but you know let's just get drunk and maybe it'll be fun later um and then this guy comes out on stage and he's got long hair he's wearing like bell bottoms i'm like who this who does this guy think he is and it's will and he's like throwing his hair around doing like these sexy moves <laughs> he's got a thong with like the edges pulled over his shoulders yeah. like Borat. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was really gross. Yeah. It sounds really gross. gross. So, was so I was intrigued at that point. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> was he in the ACDC cover band? Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Which which ACDC cover band was it? What are they called? Snake Oil Revival? No. Uh, Is that yeah, it? Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so does he still do that on the side? Actually, yeah, he goes yeah. up to Missouri like every month and does like a show up there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these cover bands, man, they can. Awesome. Do he plays some... to thousands yeah. of people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's in awesome. In Missouri. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember that that uh, dude Anthony Coker? Uh huh. Yeah, because yeah. he does He's the a, he does the Elvis. Elvis stuff. Yeah, he does yeah. the Elvis stuff, or whatever, and he goes to Vegas and all places and just that's you know. Mm-hmm. I think he might be just based out there now. Maybe wow. so. Yeah, because he hasn't been around in a while. Yeah, yeah. Seen him in a bit. It's just interesting to see, you know, because there is the whole, I'm not going to do, you know, write, uh, play other people's songs. I'm an artist. I need to make my own songs. Yeah. I got a message. I got a vision, whatever. And you want to get out there and... Um, but then you're like, oh, I got to pay my rent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm begging me Motor Scooter to cover the Go-Go's. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Right? That'd we got to really pay our cool. rent. So let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> How much would it cost to pay a band to cover a song? One song? I do for it for gig. free. I do it for free. I, I like to throw in a cover or two every once in a while. But yeah. Yeah. It's good. I, I think I'd do it for free. You'd have to pay Sammy. He does. He doesn't enjoy covers. Yeah. But that cover last night that Denver did, the uh, turning Chilamundo. Japanese, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, that Chilamundo, was great. it was, was great. fantastic. 
fantastic. It's very good because I never see it coming. You know, like yeah. they're playing their mm-hmm. their their song and the song ends, and all of a sudden it's just going, dun, 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 dun. Uh-huh. and I'm like, okay, they're just gonna do that little riff that everybody knows, and we're yeah. gonna be like, ha ha ha, and then they're gonna go into one of their songs. Oh no, no, they kept going. It's like, holy crap, they're doing, you know, <laughs> yeah. I got the picture, I got your picture. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. yeah, they did so good with it. Too. It sounded perfect. Mm-hmm. I think they started playing it last week. Really? Of course, they're all musical geniuses. Yeah. It's, they are crazy, stupid, good musical Cause, geniuses. Because usually the covers that they'll do are covers that most people don't know. Oh. You know, it's their indie friends or just some really cool song that, yeah. you know, the really cool people know about, but it's not mainstream. Oh, you gotcha. Know. Yeah. Yeah, I like to do covers, but like totally take them askance. Like do do it in like a uh, you know gypsy jazz version of mm-hmm. it, or, or just throw people off. And it's like, oh wait, are they playing that song? Or <laughs> that yeah. is what um, Ian's band does. Garage, garage. Oh, dude, they're awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I'm mixing your record, guys. I promise. I'm <laughs> I promise. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I thought they had a record coming out. Yeah. <laughs> You've been busy, Everybody Joe. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> it's been a busy year for all of us. <laughs> we got stuff to do. But yeah, but they will do a cover just their own unique way. You know? I've never heard them do a cover straight. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, whenever Cake covers, um, perhaps, perhaps, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for some reason, it's like I could see you guys doing that song. Oh, I like you know? it. I love Cake. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they're so good, oh, man. They're so good. I have yeah. a theory that all bands with food in their name are good. So you've got oh. peaches and herb, cake, the cranberries. Mm. Pe- they're all good. Red hot chili peppers. Mm. All of them. I don't know. Great. I'm sure we can find some that aren't. Well, we can because they're smashing cream. pumpkins out there. <laughs> smashing, <laughs> early cream. smashing pumpkins. Cream's, good. Cream's, cream's great. okay. And, and early mm. smashing pumpkins. And hot good. chocolate. I don't know hot chocolate. I believe in miracles. Oh, so that's where you them. From, you sexy thing. Whoa. Yeah. It's hot chocolate, man. Hmm. I Vanilla ice. Vanilla <laughs> ice. <laughs> totally rad. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Charles Clark was telling me <laughs> last night. <laughs> that guy is so awesome. Uh, he's, yeah, I, I he's talked to so him. so little. <laughs> I talked to him for a very long time last night. You expected night. it to be did like really? seven feet. I did. I really did. Yeah, with um, that ego. But yeah. no. <laughs> no, I do want to. I do want to. I, mean, I know that it sounds insulting to call the man little or short or right. whatever. But it's yeah, his his identity online is so huge. I mean, I never thought he was a big guy, but yeah, and I've met him. He's been on the show, mm-hmm. but he's, he's smaller than I remember. Uh, he always you know? he always takes pictures from the ground, so you can't tell how tall he is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow, so good tactic. Yeah, yeah. right. I was excited. Yeah. I was excited Smart to see thinking. him there. Oh, was, me too. Yeah, he's uh, he's a character. I I yes. like him. He's cool. <laughs> and I, and it's like I don't I was, think I, I'd go that far, but and <laughs> I was. Like, I was Thinking that if you have an event, and this sounds dumb, but if you, if you, if you have an event and Charles Clark shows up, it's probably kind of a big event because I don't ever see him out <laughs> no, no more. He doesn't go out. He doesn't but ever go dude, out. Dude, I mean, I literally said that. I, I saw I saw him drive up in um, the Benz, and I was like, "Holy shit, Charles Clark's here!" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> the show success. The show yeah. is a success. <laughs> so true. The Benz. <laughs> No, and he had a good time, but I wanted, yeah. and I wanted. Well, I literally talked to him. For like I wanted to talk minutes. to him. Did you really? But I really, yeah. he kind of makes me nervous now, even though he's been on the oh, show no. and stuff. But it's, it's fine. Yeah, but it's totally you know, fine. yeah. First, I I walked up. I was like, "Hey, man, thanks for coming out." And he's like, "You still playing that basement?" And that was it. I'm just talking about gear and shit. <laughs> I, th- I think his Instagram game is better than his Facebook game. It is. Mm. Sometimes yeah. you don't. Whenever he'll say certain things on f- 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 Facebook, it doesn't quite translate because you can't hear the tone and stuff. Yeah. And then you watch him say it, and it's like, <laughs> dude's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, he's, you know, it's like, I don't know. I mean, he's, you know, kind of whatever the machismo too much at times, you know. Real, real masculine and yeah, bitch, please or whatever. But I got money, but, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, man. And you gotta, you gotta have a like. I'm more comfortable being honest, at least as honest as I can. I'm not gonna say everything, but you know what I mean. That's the character that I am on this show is pretty much who mm-hmm. I am. Yeah, you know, sure. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people when they have an online thing, whether it's a, a YouTube channel or a podcast, or whatever, they have to be a character. They have yeah. to be this person that's bigger than life or whatever to. You know, and so I don't know. Sometimes that, you know, his his role takes over his character. Know. You, know, it, you know, especially yeah. like when you're a musician. You know, whether it's hip hop or rock or, 
you got your Instagram game going on, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. You got to exaggerate and be bigger than, yeah, yeah. You know. Or some people do. They, they think mm-hmm. that that's one way to do it. And it probably is one way to do it. It's just not a way that I'm comfortable doing. Sure. You know. Yeah. Joe oh. and I are friends with a former bandmate of his, and Rob told me he was like, everything he does on Facebook is a, like, it's not who he is. It's yeah. a character. It's yeah, something ah. that he did so he could get followers. And it works. Yeah. Working. We're talking yeah. about him right yeah. now. <laughs> and we usually don't. We never really ever talk about Joe's work on here. But he was there last but night. But he was there so. last night, and it was kind of a, it brought an extra energy to the, you know, it was like, holy crap. Every, 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 I don't know. It kind of brought the energy up a little bit. And that's, yeah. For yeah. all of us, at least. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the first time I'd ever seen or met him, and I was like, this guy rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Cheers to you, Charles yeah. Clark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Good Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Come out to more shows. Come out and do some more stuff. Right. I still want to see, and I never did. He, was, he said that the Midnight Wolf album came out in August, but I've never seen or. I've been looking and, for it. I, I want to hear saw, it. I saw him at um, the Pepper Mill. I saw okay. Midnight right? Wolf at the Pepper Mill. We've seen him play, and I was mm-hmm. with you. Yeah. How long ago was that? But that's been a while. It's been at least a year, yeah. if not longer. I don't think he's gigging mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah. Mm. Oh. But anyways, yeah, enough about Charles Clark. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, social media stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are on. So I can't. I couldn't find the 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 EP on Bandcamp. You have your old the the Tempest song. Oh yeah, song we got to up, update yeah. that. Yeah. Are y'all on Spotify? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because yeah. I don't do that. But you're not on Apple Music yet. We are. <laughs> oh, I didn't find well, you. So Spotify, you we we it. did it, um, but you have to dig for it. Funny enough, I don't know why. It's really weird. Yeah, because um, Phantom Mellow is an original name. It's like there's not anybody else out there with that name, but it does always want to go Phantom of the Menace, or Phantom of the Opera, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's weird. Mm. Sorry, you'll take over those algorithms. Don't yeah, yeah, you will. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> you would think. Mm. The yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Trying to do some weird videos. We've got some really cool ideas. Um, so we'll probably be putting out some more content here probably in the next month or so. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, because you got to get your stuff out of there and on, on everything, you know. Have yeah, to. I use the the Apple Music. That's why whenever Joe shared his thing on Spotify, I'm like, for those of you who don't have Spotify, <laughs> oh. here's Apple Music link. Sorry. <laughs> you know? I just assume everybody has Spotify. Not everybody has Spotify. Have Neither Spotify. of us have Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the free version and it's just fine. Is it? Yeah. See, I don't like the free version. The, the paid Why? version is better. Because well, I'm sure the paid ber- version is way better. <laughs> it's but awesome. Oh, it changed my life. Because oh, if okay. I go to the free version, I only signed up like a year ago, too. and I type okay. in mm-hmm. "me me motor scooter TV baby" and I play the first track, it'll play it, and then it's going to play something mm-hmm. off of yeah, an, a, a, another shuffle. album, you know. Oh yeah, it, it shuffles through all of me motor scooter, and that's just fine. No, well, not not if I want to hear the new EP. I, not if we put the record together to be listened to in a certain order. Oh, yeah, that's which true. we didn't, but, yeah. <laughs> but still, but I want to hear it. It's I like it just came out, you know. That happened like yeah. with, with the new Faith No More album. It gave me two or three songs off the new Faith No More album, and then it started playing like old Faith No More stuff. And I'm like, huh. I know that stuff. I want to hear the new stuff off the new album in order, please. Yeah. And I couldn't do it. You know? That's what Apple but Music it's does. A free, um, but it, yeah. yeah, they play in order. Mm. So yeah. I like. Is, I is Apple Music free? No, no, no. no. It's nine ninety nine. So, yeah, so I mean, yeah. you got you're gonna pay. Either for, way, you're for, gonna pay for something. Yep. But it's I have true. the iPhone, and Apple Music works really good on my computer, my phone. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And anything you want is there. Yeah. You just you can play it right off the cloud. You know, so you, don't, you don't have to download it. You can just search it and play yeah. it the way you can on Spotify, or you can Seven. download it and add, add it to your library. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, but yeah, all those are like. I try, I try to send people, most people, to Bandcamp because if they're going to pay for it, yeah, then at least oh, you guys get most of the money. It's true, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Bandcamp's I didn't even think about, about that. that. Yeah, because at least the, there you get most of the. You're yeah. not getting anything on Spotify or Apple. You're wow. just getting plays, which no. is good. You're getting people to listen to your music and hear it. And yeah, like, we've we've never gotten a check from any of them. <laughs> really? It would be like a oh. dollar if it would be anything, probably. Oh, I mean, I w- it would. I would be shocked if it was more than 20 cents. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to make money mm-hmm. as a musician, you know, hence day jobs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. He's got a gig. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got to play all the time. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. an expensive hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. But a fun one. Exactly. And you get to go up on stage and be whoever you want, and that's a beautiful thing. You can't put any price on that. Oh, yeah. No. Right? Yeah. So, you know. It, it's a little bit vain, I would say, at times, because you've got all your friends coming out to watch you be, mm-hmm. a, be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is weird, because you have to have some sort of ego. 
yeah to get on stage in front of everybody oh, and do something. yeah because yeah. yeah, i don't I mean, think i could do it yeah yeah no way but you're on stage wherever you go anyways it's true the whole world looks at me <laughs> <laughs> because you're like look at me look at me look at me look at me <laughs> i'm not that way yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were there last night <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, and you looked adorable on Friday. Were you just getting all the compliments all night you. long? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, here and there. Somebody said I look like Barbie, like a Latina Barbie. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Latina. Huh. But I'm Filipino. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was like, <laughs> You're Panda, both. Panda should be Filipino, right? I'm both. Yeah, I'm both. I'm both. <laughs> nice. Mm. Yeah, the the pink sparkle dress was sequins was Thanks. great and the little puffs. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, whenever y'all do play on on the stage, everybody always looks nice. Mm-hmm. You know, you're all dressed up and everything. So is mm-hmm. that um, that's not what you do all the time? Like when you're not playing on stage, you're just kind of normal <sighs> wear clothes. Or do you see you, how cute she is right this very second? I know, but it's <laughs> not. I mean, she's got on the white boots and. <laughs> everything but it's still not the pink sparkly dress yeah. it's kind of a toned down panda yeah. as far as what you would see panda does it mm. a l- every show yeah mm-hmm. like she goes hard with the outfits mm-hmm. and uh i sometimes do depends on how i'm feeling that day yeah i just think it makes it fun you know because mm-hmm. you're there to see a performance yeah, yeah so, know, so put on a show put and on an act on get your costume yeah. on and costume part of the show for sure mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i look at everybody's clothes i look at the band shirts that the guys are wearing you know and they're, i look at they're the, strategic man mm-hmm. no i figured most people most people not everybody some 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 bands get up there and they just would they, they put on whatever yeah. they got up that morning and they wore that to the show but that's our drummer no. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to get him to wear the drag stuff because yeah. oh yeah yeah totally <laughs> but uh he was like no nah, i'm just gonna paint my toenails instead Okay. <laughs> he showed them to me. They were pink. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty awesome. I guess that's why he wore flip flops yesterday mm-hmm. and like skinny Choose jeans. I was like, so he could show his so toenails. Show cool. That's awesome. <laughs> it, it's kind of one of those weird paradoxes, though, because you have that license to go up on stage and be yourself, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like people expect you to put on a show. So yeah. do you dress up or do not? And I find myself battling that one out before every show. So. Mm. See, I think the great thing about um, being in a band on stage is that you get the freedom to do whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you wear because yeah. you're on stage. You can dress mm. oh, completely yeah. crazy. And it's just like, that. you know, I mean, Meech Pango wears their track jumpsuits. Suit, track suits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, the track suits. And, um, the you know. thinks with their capes. and mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But even like Royal Sons or whatever, where it's uh-huh. just all very flowy... The just seventies rock star yeah. kind of and Joe with his Bell breaking bottoms. in t shirt. I think yeah. it's rad. I cannot <laughs> wait. Scooter with their black t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait for that to come out. But, oh, I would, but I would definitely dress up every show. Yeah? Yeah. I would, uh, okay. I would try to I would try to wear something kind of crazy or wild or yeah. see I like to expensive. cross promote, so I'll oh, probably yeah, be wearing this sure. next show. Nice. Yeah. You know, cause Thank I, you. You know, yeah, I love you guys, man. <laughs> you guys are great. And uh, you know, there's nothing like getting a little inspiration from like people out there that are slogging through the shit just like the rest of us yeah, you know mm-hmm. so yeah so props to you guys oh thank you i will wear this <laughs> until it falls off of my body and then i'll give you a new one <laughs> 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 he's wearing the white mean motor scooter shirt and the last one that exists it is the last mm-hmm. one that exists. <laughs> jeff's wearing the new um denver mean motor scooter shirt yep, yeah that says zigzag. slacker extraordinaire in french Oh, Whose Slacker. face is that? That's Denver Williams. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it. I sent him the picture. I was like, "Hey, are you cool with this if we put it on a shirt?" He's like, "I don't know if I'd buy an orange shirt, man." I was like, "No, that's not the question." <laughs> 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 are, you, are you cool with this? He's like, "Like, okay, I guess." I was like, "It's got your face on it." He's like, "Oh, yeah, that's cool." <laughs> <laughs> You probably thought you were trying to sell him a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't want to buy a shirt right now. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So um, the new EP has four songs, mm-hmm. and because of that, I didn't want to play three of them. Sure. You know. Yeah. Um, so I asked you guys which ones. If if you guys wanted to do, do something different or play somebody else around town, and you were like, "Yeah, we definitely want to play me motor scooter." Yeah. Then did you just just had your EP released last night? We did. Yeah, you might have read about it in one of the local newspapers. You want yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like four in my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> but I did so. Um, I heard your guys' stuff before it came out because we talked and they gave me a link. But mm-hmm. 
purposely stayed away from the Mi Motor Scooter EP until it and came out this yesterday. This is the first one I didn't let you hear, like as a as I mix a song. Like, Jeff can listen to. This. Yeah, no, and I, and I didn't ask. I was just like left it alone. And so yesterday when when I got up, I saw that it was posted. I was like, oh. And I'm driving to Weatherford um, and listening to it. And yeah, the first song is um, Organic Frequency. Mm -hmm. And it's way more manic than I remember it being live. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I, love, I, was, t I was telling you last night, the, the, the screaming in Sammy's mm -hmm. voice, when he's like just singing the... Yeah, yeah. he's got an <laughs> epic breakup in his, his yeah. vocals there. Yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah, yeah he, just, he does that really well. Yeah. He, he screams. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I hear him scream all the time, you know, yeah. but for some reason in that song, the way that it was just placed in between the, mm -hmm. the, the words and well, yeah, stuff. Yeah, we did, it, we, on that one in particular, we did a lot of experimenting, like, in the mix with, like, each scream having some kind of different effect on them. Uh -huh. So some of them have, you know, fuzz and overdrive, and some of them have, you know, just, or, or overcompressed, or whatever. We do all sorts, there's all sorts of weird shit. But it really picture really like, into the screams. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, it really, at least in my mind, it really made me picture, like, some sort of just guy kind of running around being frustrated you know yeah. just like all this stuff and they're like god you know and then, and then oh, so you know as a very real as a yeah. matter of fact i think last night we just well we we already decided we were going to do another our next music video be for that one and then um i think ian agreed to do it last night oh so cool it might be another nice. pot film down the line that's awesome yeah. yeah well if you need a man dressed as a woman maybe i can be the guy <laughs> cool. this is all gonna be green yes. screen but um yeah. i'll see um, Sammy and Chase wrote the script for it, which I haven't read yet. So I was just oh. making a callback joke. I know. All right, but I mean, I, I put you in every video I possibly can. <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah. So this song that we're gonna hear actually kicks off your EP, mm -hmm. TV Baby, and it it's does. organic frequency. <laughs> Scream, but I was like, eh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hang up, like, ah. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Organic frequency. Yep. Yeah, this feels like what the whole record is, or the whole the OEP is kind of like that. It has a very much um, mechanical or industrial feel, kind of with an organic human feel, like the, yeah. the battle between the two or whatever, it's, maybe yeah, a mixture of the two. Or, kind of leaning into that lately. I'm curious so. to see how the next one's gonna go because we recorded both at the same time, but I haven't mixed the the next one yet but that that one's the one with all the backup vocals and you know different stuff so this one's a little more rocking mm -hmm. see how the next one turns out so um 
with your guys' EP. So there's songs that you play live that, that aren't on the EP. Are those mm-hmm. going to end up on another EP later? Like your love song? That <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> no, we probably won't the record that one. No? one. I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. That song's great. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Our guitarist, Will, he hates it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, he plays along. He's a yeah. good actor. <laughs> and I like, the, like I said, I like the surf rock one that's kind of instrumental. Yeah. Man, we're we're uh, gonna try to keep surfing that wave. Yeah, yeah, we like it. It's yeah. it's splashy and weird and fun. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but like I said, when when I first you know saw you guys, you were you know making like a bunch of different styles or whatever. But yeah, with this EP, it's very it's you know that it feels like y'all have your own sound, and this is what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Preach, man. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were kind of like trying to you know narrow in on what we wanted to be. So, but that changes all the time. Sure. And that's what's exciting is like the next one, we don't we know what it's going to yeah. be yet. That's true. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, we have a, a good idea what our singles are going to be, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we're, we're excited. We're, we're really excited for the next recording. So, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, the, the second song is El Capo, El Capo? El Capo. <laughs> <laughs> well, because the beginning riff, it kind of reminds me of Spy Hunter, the old ah, video game. Ah, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, terrible. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it has a really cool kind of James Bondy guitar yeah. riff kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. um, it's about uh, an old bandmate of mine who was really creepy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and he he had this thing with his mom. I mean, he didn't like. He wasn't like you know. <laughs> it was not with his ed- mom. Not <laughs> it was just like, wait, what's going on here? But uh, yeah, I just like sort of exaggerated his traits because mm-hmm. he's very vain and very um i don't know superficial and but also very home oriented so he'd like stay in his home all day and creep around the house and be like mom bring mm-hmm. me some grilled cheeses oh weird. <laughs> yeah. weird yeah <laughs> so i've kind of like created a character out of him and i love you love you dude wherever yeah. you are whatever you're doing uh um, he died no. Oh, okay. No. So like you're like pointing at the sky. Like yeah. He's like in the sky somewhere <laughs> he now. He's in the universe somewhere. Mm-hmm. Wherever you are. Pour one out. Yeah. <laughs> For my homie, yeah. who lives in Arlington now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we miss you, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then your um, third track, Palette Cleanser. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. We have the backing vocals. Pant, I guess that's you back there doing the whole singing. Yeah, the, I'm wailing. Yeah. It's actually Will. Just kidding. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he, well, he's got a beautiful <laughs> voice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You know, it's a little, because, it, I mean, they're all kind of up-tempo, but they're still kind of mellow at the same time, where this yeah. one's a little bit more, I guess, down-tempo. But, Soulful yeah. is yeah. what we were sort of going for. And it's, um, it's sort of about, um, you know, when you haven't been with someone that you love for a long time, and then finally you meet someone, and, and they take the darkness away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's about the sunrise metaphor blah 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 sure uh, yeah and then um the last one um like you said earlier like you did like a bossa nova thing and this doesn't feel like that but this feels like it has some sort of international kind of feel to it. i don't know but it's um the vso <laughs> yeah it, it has like a um a weird kind of not weird but it's kind of i don't know kind of to me it feels a little cinematic mm-hmm. i don't know just it's different i can't even really put it in a category i don't know if it's surfy i don't know if it's gothy it's I don't know. I like it though. I, I think like it's it cool. Too. Yeah. yeah, it's real cool. Yeah, I mean, what it reminds me of. Um, well, the initials VSO is. Uh, I don't know if I can Go say ahead. it. Yeah, it's yeah. a vampire sex offender. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> like when we were first playing, practicing that song, I was like, I feel like this is like a vampire song. Like a vampire is like creeping on me. So we named it VSO, and then um, for those PC people, <laughs> and then. Um, like as we kept working on and developing it um it just started to remind me of like halloween and like i just see like ghouls and and uh harpies and stuff like when will does that part he goes to yeah it's like i just see like a wolf howling at the moon like his <laughs> back arched and everything it's just like there's just so many visuals for me for that song yeah yeah that's cool <laughs> yeah it is a very um i guess kind of emotional album I mean, you can feel it whenever it's playing it just yeah. it, it pulls at you yeah yeah I like it man it, it's really good I you appreciate know? that um, yeah it was all Taylor Tash I mean we were we were really happy to record with him he was very professional mm-hmm. and it's so isolated out there mm-hmm. down there in uh, Dripping Springs mm-hmm. 
and um, there's nothing to do except for record music and get enjoy trashed. N- enjoy yeah. nature. Duh. Oh, yeah, there's some nature. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, see, I forgot that it was t- Taylor. That makes sense because I love the guitars in this. He's always yeah, so good at, at the guitars. You can, you can definitely tell. Um, he's, he's starting to develop a sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's cool. It was real fun. Like um, when I did some of the guitar parts, I had one amp in like the bathroom, and then I had another amp in, in like the the main hall. Mm-hmm. And it was getting all these weird kinds of sounds there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I really had a great experience with him. And you know, that's the first recording where I've ever been like, I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and that's so unusual for me. I would say because well, it doesn't sound like a local garage four track demo or right. whatever. I mean, this is like a real. Yeah, it sounds like a real. You know, but yeah, it's real dynamic and got depth and yeah he pulls all that stuff out of there yeah he's yeah. great man absolute uh dream to work with you know um he's just open to any idea he he offers his his uh thoughts as well and uh even plays a little bit too mm-hmm. so uh, yeah. you know it's really helpful to have someone like hey maybe try this or do this or have a piano part here and like i don't know was, he's brilliant but not being too pushy at the same time not right. you know pushy yeah. at all yeah not like Joe Tacky. <coughs> oh, I'm pushing right. I'm <laughs> stern <laughs> taskmaster in this video. You, know, you play what I fucking tell you. To. Right. <laughs> he's a little stoic, I'll say that. He's kind of quiet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's the only engineer I've ever met that doesn't like to talk about gear. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I don't care. I just plug shit in until it sounds good. Yeah. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> 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 you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't really know him. I should get to, you know, we should go down there and do a podcast from the studio. Yeah. Trip well, down he, there. He's up here a lot. We, I know, we, we played with him like a couple, like a month ago or something. What is he in? Golay? Shadows. 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 Jets. 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 And then there's another one. Um, fit, uh, Finches? Um, Cutthroat Finches. Cutthroat Finches. Yeah. yeah, sometimes he plays yeah. with Cutthroat Finches. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know him when I, when I see him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, a, a lot of the records that he does, they're just, they always sound mm-hmm. really good. He also uh, played in Blondie too. Mm-hmm. Taylor Tash. Mm-hmm. He played in Blondie. Blondie. He played in Blondie. Yeah. He I'm, played with I'm Bur- kidding. No. I'm kidding. I was <laughs> say, well, I, that wouldn't surprise me. Like, surprise <laughs> me. Like, like we were little kids when Blondie. I know. <laughs> I was like, Blondie's still. <laughs> well, no, they don't. But um, no. He played with Ryan Cabrera. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> That's right, a real thing. Story yeah. checks out. <laughs> story checks out. <laughs> yeah, That's funny. I was like, Blondie, really? Okay. Cause then maybe within the last ten years, maybe he did something. Because then uh, he's he's got to be what? He's older than you, right? Younger than me. I think yeah. he's right around forty. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah. Just, I think he he may be right between you and I. Yeah. W- which would make him a little kid whenever Blondie was doing her thing. <laughs> yeah, because I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. Blondie's not a her. Well, you're right. <laughs> oh, damn it, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. I'm ashamed now. I'm going to sit yeah. here and do my head down. Please, we're going to sit in silence for two minutes while you think about what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> the Pink Floyd's still a guy, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's two guys. Which one of you is which, pink? Which one's pink, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Which one's Floyd? Um... Yeah, I was gonna. Are you looking for your phone? I know it's over here. Okay. <laughs> no, I was looking for my phone, but as soon as you said, it, I remembered where it was. Do you have to pull up some more of those questions? We could. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Oh yeah, right totally. Unless Susie has any questions she wants to ask. I I actually don't. Are you, sh- are you, are you sure you couldn't vamp for like two seconds while <laughs> long enough for me to look this up? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff I mean, to, well, to load this up I because we're I could. a professional podcast show. So, Panda, how long have you been playing bass? Um, I've been playing bass probably four years, but before that, I um, was playing guitar, mm-hmm. acoustic guitar. I taught myself when I was 14, and uh, the first song I learned was um, Blink-182 Adam song. Oh, nice. <laughs> that really depressing <laughs> song <laughs> on, like, guitar. Oh, it was an ultimate guitar and uh-huh. using tabs. So I grew up doing that, and then um, <clears throat> played viola when I was in sixth grade, and... Um, and then actually when YouTube first started, uh-huh. me and my cousin would do these like music videos where I was playing guitar and she would sing and stuff. And so, um, so yeah, I've been a musician since I was 14. Also been playing The Sims since I was 14. Shout out to Sims. Nice. <laughs> the video game Sims? Yeah. yeah like Did you do the thing that everybody does where they like trap someone in a basement or a room <laughs> or whatever? And, like, I mean, you got to make it interesting yeah. somehow, okay. you know? Okay. <laughs> I had the little... 
is it the Game Boy? It's the little, and it, it opens up and it has the screen. You can shut it. Oh, and open it. Mm-hmm. oh. yeah, the DS. Yes, yeah. I guess so. But, it. but it, was, it was square. It wasn't the big long rectangle yeah. ones. It was a little yeah. square one. Um, I guess a Game Boy or something. But uh, yeah. I had the, there was a Sims game on there, and and it wasn't like your regular Sims game. You still had to get a job to do these things, but um, there was a, a storyline, and you're actually getting parts to build like a rocket ship and then by the end of it if you win then you actually get on the rocket ship and you go to outer space cool. or whatever but it was the funnest little sims game but it was it was basically like all the little odd jobs that you would normally do in sims so it's kind of yeah. like a game with a bunch of those yeah so you would do the different different jobs in different games along the way instead of you didn't you didn't build your own house and yeah. decorate it and all that kind yeah. of stuff that kind of stuff was already done for you mm. but it was still just that like, was my favorite part yeah like i would just spend most of the game decorating and and everything and Putting up making the characters making all these crazy characters and then like right when I get to like the normal play I'd be like bored I'm like okay well this that was fun that's yeah. it because it's just it's kind of boring like all right go to the bathroom all right now take a shit come on yeah. <laughs> you I know would just get to have sex that was with time each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was always getting on to play his guitar more and more, and more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get yeah, really good would, yeah you know? play you in fast mode like yeah. yeah. That's pretty funny. So, have you got your questions pulled up there, mm-hmm. old man? Okay. So, let me see here. Now, these are ones because we've already gone through all of them, so I'm just going to kind of start in the middle. And, um, okay, this, I'll start with um, Panda. All right, this question's for you. If you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably... Um, stealing the microphone from karaoke <laughs> goers because I love karaoke, so I would be eager to like it's my turn and probably go to jail or something because I'm being really aggressive about karaoke. <laughs> 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 I was driving around with my in-laws the other day and they had a rental car and it was a Kia Soul and I was, so I was driving it and I was like I'm not used to driving the, a Soul. I usually steal these. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would be arrested for. <laughs> Stealing souls. <laughs> Stealing souls. Yes. All right. This Come one's on, for Jeff, Will. Though. I mean, Joe, that was funny. <laughs> I'm laughing on the inside. Okay, good. What is something that... I keep getting stupid messages. All right, I gotta wait. It's not me this time. No, it's... Phone, my phone is down. It's stupid church. <laughs> <laughs> church isn't stupid, oh, well, Jeff. You didn't go with I that. Hate, I hate your, stupid yeah, church whatever. messages, man. <laughs> um, here it is. Okay, Will, what is something that you just recently realized that you were embarrassed you didn't realize earlier? Um, I have exceptionally long nose hairs. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You might not have had them earlier. They get longer as you get older. <laughs> yeah. I started to notice that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he... Well, he had some on the way to the show. We were already in the car. And I was like, you know, I could tell him that I can see his nose hairs, uh-huh. but he doesn't have any scissors, so what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I went into the bathroom. I was like, oh, and I, like, pushed him back up there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was the only thing I could think of to do. What else could you do? <laughs> um, yeah, I was telling, I think you, yes, yeah, I was telling yesterday, um, a buddy of mine was riding with me yesterday in my car, and he gets in my car, oh, and he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, you got a Ford Focus? Because I used to have one of these cars, and I was like, yeah. And he goes, yeah. Do you have the little? Because uh, he goes, you have the little drawer too. And he pulls out this drawer out of my dashboard that I never knew was there. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? It's like, oh yeah, it's like right above the cigarette lighter. There's like a little, Whoa. like a little thing that you can pull on, and it pulls a little drawer out. You Dude. know, and it's about big enough for a pack of smokes, mm, you know, okay. or whatever. Drugs, Just opens yeah. the clothes. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. And I was like, ah, so do you think cops know about this? I've been driving this car for five years and never had any idea that was there. Wow, that's you know? crazy. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> now I'm looking at all my car, you know, in my other, in my truck, and trying to see if I can find any secret cubby holes. <laughs> um. All right, Joe, what is the most ridiculous fact you know? Um, or how about this one? This is better. I know a lot of ridiculous facts. <laughs> Give me a genre. All right, how about the uh, most ridiculous fact about Russia you know? Um, oh, that during the siege of Leningrad, um, during World War II, they ate all of the cats in the Hermitage Museum. What? Mm-hmm. They were starving. In fact, they were making bread... With, they didn't have enough flour to go around, so they cut it with um, sawdust to make bread. What the? Wow. It was fucking terrible. Yeah. Russia's I, hardcore, man. Seriously. They, they've always been that way. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Look up the Siege of Leningrad. It's great. Yeah. 
scary. Yeah. Actually, my dad did a, uh, like, he traced his ancestry. Mm -hmm. And this is my Indian side. And Mm -hmm. he actually traced it all the way back to Russia. No shit. So they they came from Russia. I guess he's part of that, um, the Aryan movement or whatever. Like Uh, the the real Aryan. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Oh, how interesting. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, Susie, what are the unwritten rules of where you work? The unwritten rules of where I work. Or at least there's there's got to be a one or two, like things that people don't do. Don't, don't fart in your cubicle or something. <laughs> don't cut your fingernails oh. in the oh, cubicle. Yeah. Oh, that's a good it's, one. You should do that in the privacy of your own bathroom. You really should, but you would be surprised door. at how many people cut their nails at their cubicle. Dude, you know what? I'm always I'm always amazed that when people uh, cut their fingernails, they like hold it over like a trash can or like yeah. a, a toilet and it's like, there is no way that anybody knows what direction that nail is <laughs> oh, going to go. No. It's like, uh, you know, yeah. shit shot. Right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Don't cook fish I've in the I've had one hit me in the eye. <laughs> oh. No, don't cook. Don't t- I do don't that. <laughs> God. How about Panda is hot dog a sandwich. We've had this question before. Sam- it's hot dog a sandwich. Uh, no, it's a hot dog. That's why it's called a hot dog, right? Oh. Well, it's, it's, it's between two pieces of bread, and That's then there's meat in it. Mm-hmm. But a sandwich no. you don't need to have meat. I wouldn't say it's a sandwich. It's a hot, it's a I think hot it's sandwich. the sandwich has to be one of those square breads, and then whatever well, goes what between. About it? What about on a roll? Hockey? Yeah. Yeah, hokey. 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 A, a sub sandwich. A sub sandwich on a roll. Those are long. Um, or I think sandwich. it's like a long sandwich. So this is the, I, uh, I the wouldn't say it's a sandwich. Yeah, this but is if it's <laughs> not, <laughs> if it's not a sandwich, then what is it? Right. It's a hot dog. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a hamburger is it a sandwich? It's I feel just like a hamburger, hamburger is a sandwich. Is a sandwich. Yeah. Right. I feel like it's a sandwich. I think McDonald's calls them sandwiches, don't they? Yeah. Hamburger sandwiches. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Hamburgers American. No, it's, 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 it's ask these questions. So there's these guys on the on uh, the radio, and they always like to come up with like um, hypotheticals. And one of them that just really got me. It started with they were at the Texas Motor s- s- Speedway, and they're on, on one side, and and one guy asked the other guy, he was like, "Hey, if I told you there was five dollars on the other side of the of the track or whatever, would you go get it?" No, you know. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, so it's like, okay, well, how about if I told you there was. Um, Three hundred dollars in Waco, and all you had to do was go get it. You know, would you go get it? No. Maybe. Really? Yeah, I'll, I would. I totally would. I'd do would. I would leave right now. It's super yeah. sus, though. It's so suspicious. What, well, no. I mean, there's nothing suspicious. <laughs> it's just there. It's just to see. Oh, okay. Because I mean, it's, you know, if you want to spend the next three hours on the road to That's get, you know, saying. how much I mean, is your time worth and your yeah, gas yeah. and all that kind of stuff? What about yeah. if it was five hundred in Austin? Yeah. Definitely, you my, my sister's there. I've driven to Austin. Yeah. But you come but, home with less money than that. But you have to come right back. I mean, you can't hang out in, oh. in, in, in Austin. You go there, oh. you, 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 you can't you pick play it up, show, and you come back. Right. And no. Can we stop in Pflugerville for Ethiopian food? I mean, I guess you can stop and eat, but you got to stop at Bucky's. Can I know. take a shit at Bucky's? You have maybe so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, that's the best. And then the other one was like, <laughs> yeah. I think it was two thousand to go to El Paso. Never. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, but you still have to come hours? back. You have to go down there, oh, yeah. get the money, and come back. Oh, it's like eighteen a, hours. Oh yeah, my it's gonna God. be like sixteen, eighteen hour Oof. round trip drive. I There's mean, no way. But no. Like, I don't think that's so. Too right now. Well, so I mean, they're keeping this all in the realm of two hundred dollars an hour minus gas. This is, I mean, this is bullshit. Let's change up the stakes. Oh. I don't know. I would do it. No, not not the El Paso one. So now this was the other part of it. So let's just stick with the Austin one. Say that you'll do five hundred a day. Um, now let's say that you can do this every day. Mm-hmm. Every, every day there's five hundred dollars there, mm-hmm. but the first day you stop going, it stops. Oh, oh shit! I mean, damn it. So, I mean, how long would you go for? I mean, because you could do this every but, day. But it's, all, it's six hours a day. It's six hours a day. Yeah, five, five, I would do it. Which Maybe is two, two hours days. less than you work. Yeah, two hours less than I work. Days. I would do it. Two days. For how long? For Oh shoot! Wait, yeah, because as soon as you stop, because I can't do five days a week. Do you have to leave at a certain time? I don't think so. I think it's just every day, and and I think that it's going to be like as far as their rule was, it's somewhere different in Austin every time. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll always tell you this time it's in North Austin, this time it's in South Austin, this time it's downtown, this time it's at Lake Travis, so whatever. It's always a different part, but but still, you drive there, you p- 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 pick it up, and you come back, and then it's yours. I, I think I could do it for twenty days to make ten grand. Yeah, mm, I could do that. So it's like two hundred miles there and back. 
And they say it's 40 cents a mile. Worth it. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> worth I think it's worth it, but just for how long? Like, could you do it for a year? Well, no, no, no but no, I would, I would probably month. have a money amount I mean, it's seven set days in a week. Head. I think that's what that's I would end up doing yeah. as well. I'd have like a goal. And yeah. you're making like, like the ten thousand dollars. Yeah, is a good goal. Ten or fifteen thousand. Yeah, but it's like one month. Five hundred a day for three hundred and fifty. Whatever it is. that's like. You you, I mean, that's one hundred fifty thousand sure. dollars for a year. I'd do it for the full year. No way. For one year, right? The drive would get easier. I drive every day, Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, you don't get a break. But no, but it's just six hours, and you're dealing with thirty. Five, Five which is just like the butthole of all highways. But I've been, I wouldn't be working my job that I have now, right? Which I'm already driving eight hours a day, anyways, two hundred miles a day average, uh, anyways. It's just now I'm doing it two days extra. I'd have to say yes, I'd do it. Now, would no you question. go to church? I probably wouldn't be able to see as many shows as I'd be able to see. Oh, I got to get up in the morning and go to Austin, so I can't come to your show or not. But I still got some shows. It's just yeah. six hours. And yes, I do agree. Probably about. I'm predict- Six weeks in, That's- I'm gonna be like, "This sucks. I, I don't want to do this uh, anymore." I was thinking, twenty days seems perfectly reasonable. That would, by the end of it, you'd hate it, but then you'd see the light at the end of the tunnel and you plow through. Mm-hmm. But I like driving, and I got tons of I podcasts. I like to drive too, but I oh, know, you know that would make me nuts. I would, and you could pick different different routes. There's a, there's a different routes. There's a couple different routes. Yeah, you could take three seventy seven. I would run a different car for each time I go down there. Well, that's gonna Why cut not? Into your yeah, it's not going to be your cost. Yeah. It's okay, man. I'm making 150000 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll send you all like, I'm upgrading to a nicer car, yeah. and a more comfortable car, less gas miles. Tesla, <laughs> hey, use your yeah. Tesla. Stop Wait, driving. can I take the bus? <laughs> He'll start. Can I be able to take the bus? I don't oh, think but that takes twice as long. That's okay. I can chill. That's or, 12 hours a day. No, I think you're living could on you, that could, take, could you take a train? The rule is you have to drive. Oh, you have to drive. You can't hire a driver. Could I drive a plane? Ooh, I think that's called no, piloting. I think it's <laughs> no, they're just driving. <laughs> but one of the other ones they did that, that was kind of funny. They were like, um, they said, "Okay, um, you're at the you're at half court of basketball court, and you have ten shots. All right, and if you make it in, you get a billion dollars. But if you miss, or no, but if you don't get them all in, I mean, if, if you make one in, then you get a billion dollars. If you miss all ten, mm-hmm. Then you go to federal prison for like three years. Oh, you know, federal prison is kind of cushy, from what I hear. I don't know. Are you basing this on office space? And Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah they probably did a little better for her though. But I mean, this is, but, but I mean, you're going into general pop. It's just like, and like whenever they were talking about federal prison, they were like, like Huntsville. I don't think Huntsville is a federal prison. It's a state prison. No, it's a state prison. You know, but something like that, like like a regular what you would think of as being Um, jail, Orange is the New Black, or Oz, or whatever. I mean, oh no, what prison is? Federal prison is not that bad. You know, well, prison, prison. So, anyways, (sighs) someone guy was like, "Ah," he was like, he's like, I'm not gonna because I can't do that. He goes, so he started working at a deal. He goes, I tell you what, I get twelve shots, and he goes, and if I get one then I get 12 million dollars and then if I miss one or then if I miss all 12 then I get I spend 12 months in jail <sighs> I couldn't I just don't I'm not good enough at basketball yeah. to make that exactly. kind of commitment yeah. Yeah. have you and guys watched prison, 60 days think, in Mm-mm. I don't it's think I'd make it in prison I'm yeah. too small <laughs> I don't think you I know? do either I, I, it'd be like a bar of soap this is a sports song, show so they're I'd all die. like we need, we need to think of one that comes up with like music that I couldn't think of the the equivalent for like a musician but at the same time i think i would have to do it like a billion dollars just sitting there waiting for me to get it i would have to try or three years in federal prison yeah, yeah. now so when you don't get anything when you get out of federal prison except uh, you lost three years of your life right yeah so what they did was they went down to visits? the they went down to the basketball yeah. court <laughs> that's true <laughs> and they and they um so they went down to the basketball court and tried to to do it, just standing mid mid court and see how many mm-hmm. it would take them to get and, until they got one. One of them got it in five, the other one got it in six. But they were both saying by the time you get to your fifth and sixth shot, your arms are getting I was say so you're tired. tired yeah. You know? yeah. And what they're doing is they're just trying to. You're working at it. You're like, oh, that was too hard. That was too soft. That's too far to left. You're you're trying to get it yeah. in. But by the time you get it focused in, now you're like so tired oh. <laughs> to where it's like, yeah, they might be able to do it because they're kind of athletic anyways. Mm-hmm. But me never being able to, you know, yeah. I would be like, oh, I'm terrible. They'd be going to jail, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and of course they did it, but they also didn't have the pressure of. You the know, actual, yeah, the warden the standing there space. going, "Okay, if you miss twelve, I'm taking you to jail for twelve months or whatever." Mm. If you miss, yeah, I wouldn't you be know. doing that in front of a whole crowd of people. People, sure. Ooh, yeah. you would. Okay, yeah. So you have all that that's pressure hard, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, no, definitely not hard. with the crowd. 
No uh, way. Yeah. You know people be yelling all kinds of mean things. Oh, yeah, because I would want you to miss. Yeah. I really want to see you go to jail for three oh, years. Which yes. just proves how Joe. mean people are. Dang. You know, everybody hey. should be going, we want this guy to win. Know. Yeah, you we know? want him to get a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're so awesome and mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good person. No, but people are that, are, are that way. It's the old... What is it? Crabs that like, or whatever it is that are trying to climb out of a pot. Whenever one starts to get halfway up, the other crabs will reach up and grab it and pull it back down. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. I didn't know they did that. Yeah, that's the way people are. Yeah, crab, you know, anytime crab, we see somebody kind of getting, man. you know, getting ahead of us or whatever, we'll try to pull them down or whatever. I guess that's why the adjective crabby is like you're an asshole. Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. always it, it, it is whenever you say, "Okay, man, I quit." Smoking, yeah, yeah, we'll see in a couple of weeks. It's like, you're a dick, yeah, dude. I Why'd you say good for you, man? I hope you make it, you know. But some people, yeah, I knew you couldn't do it. You just, I don't know. Oh, man. I've, I've gotten that with. I've gotten that before. Too. You know, whenever people don't want you to successfully quit smoking. For some reason, it's like people are just mean that way sometimes. <sighs> well, mm-hmm. I quit smoking with these, but now I'm addicted to these. The vape pen. The vape, yeah. Is it a jewel? It is, yeah. And, you know, it's. I've thought about it because it's better. It is better. There's less carcinogens. I think there's like four as opposed to like mm-hmm. 4,000. And it doesn't stink. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And yeah. you can yeah. sneak around in the office doing it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they won't know what you're doing there. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a 5% and 3%, so you could like wean yourself off, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. slowly. I think that's the theory what you do. You just kind of well, pull back, the, yeah, that's pull the back theory. a little by little. That's the theory, little, that's the theory yeah. all right. Now, anytime I've, I've tried them, now not a jewel but just any of the other ones or mm-hmm. whatever it was just like as soon as I would take a few hits off it I'm like ah, now I need a cigarette yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. you know yeah. it's like it would give me a different kind of buzz and I needed to smoke after that one or whatever I could mm. never switch the two but, the only, I, but I've heard jewels are really good as far yeah, as yeah they are and good. the only thing is that um, you can't blow dense clouds with them date yeah <laughs> not as dense date I don't care for that and, yeah. they, and they um, produce a lot of waste so you go they through they do like, a actually lot of that whole like Dilly Whopper is done after oh, okay. you know yeah. after it's done. So you just got a battery so, in the like, pool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've been getting a little less expensive over time. I mean, when I first got one, it was like fifty bucks. Mm-hmm. Shit. I got this one for twenty five. How much is or how long does it last you? Uh, should last a week, but I would probably get through it in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a fiend. Right. Well, see, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I spend five bucks a day. I know. You know, if it lasts me a week. Well then, you know, then I'm saving a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. Well, packing smokes that. these days are like eight bucks, yeah. and it's just climbing yeah. up. You know? well, they're not. See, that's not Palm Alls, and they're four ninety nine or four ninety five at Seven Eleven. You kind of know where you can get, you know, your cigarettes you like for the price you like or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm coming back from Weatherford. I was out of smokes, and I'm driving back, and I stop at this gas station. And I walk in there, and I was like, "Can I get Palm Alls?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I go, "Hold on, are they really eight dollars and eighty five cents?" And she was like, yeah. I go, for Palm Alls? She was like, yeah. And I'm like, did you slap her? No. I was like, I'm, <laughs> I was like, all right. I'm going to buy my cigarettes down the road. See you later. I want to take my business elsewhere. And I was like, no offense. You know, but I was like, how much for Marlboro? Because usually like $14. <laughs> yeah, they had to be. And they had American Experience. They got to be York, 15 Yeah, not normal? Yeah. Oh, it was just, I don't know. It was just, that was crazy to me to see them. And, th- and then I was driving home. I started I started th- th- thinking, what if I went to the next place? And it was eight fifty. And I went to the next place, and it was nine dollars. Oh and I went to the God. next place. It was like, would it would that force me to quit smoking? And I was like, probably. Yeah. I think eight bucks is yeah. too much. I think eight bucks might be my limit to where I'm like, I can't smoke anymore. It's I can't afford expensive. to smoke eight bucks yeah. a pop. Mm-hmm. You know, it, was, it wasn't. I, I, the, crunching that because I smoked um, and occasionally still do. Uh, American Spirits. Um, well, they're, they're seven they're, eight bucks a pop. They're itching. They're inching up to eight bucks. Yeah. I ran the numbers and I was like, I could buy so many fucking guitars mm-hmm. every <laughs> year. No, it's <laughs> true. It's true. Even with me, I mean, I spend five twenty five is, is how much I spend. But still, it's even on low end five five times seven is thirty five dollars a week. Yeah. Yeah. Times four times Dude. twelve. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of money. Do you want? Mm-hmm. You know? Do you care? No, because I've looked it up before. It's a it's a couple thousand. It's a pay raise. Yeah. 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 You know, it's that's a, a vacation. Yeah. And yeah. if the wife quit too, yeah. Oh my about, god, now, two you, vacations. now you just times that by two of all that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's money. But. Man, I was smoking uh, Turkish silvers, and I was like at a pack a day. I just like smoking air. Those. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And, Even when I um, smell those, because you can smell them whenever somebody lights them up. I'm like, it's just like maple syrup and uh-huh. delicious. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> but I was in high yeah. school; they were like three dollars and thirty five cents. Oh yeah. Now they're like eight dollars. Mm. I can't believe it. Yeah, and it's they don't crazy. even make them anymore. Oh, they make. The new ones. They don't make the old ones. The butt version. 
Yeah. They're not good. No. Obviously. <laughs> I, <laughs> they taste like butt. No, yeah. I liked I, I liked Camels. I liked all the. That was, uh, that was my the, first American brand. Mm-hmm. That I smoked. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I was smoking when it was fancy still French ones before. No, what happened they was were um, Russian. I'm sure. W- yeah. Oh. <laughs> when, I, when I did my study, I did a study abroad in Russia, and my homestay parents had these like terrible Russian cigarettes. But I was just like, okay, well, we'll try this. And I, I kind of dug it, and I got home. My friend smoked Camels, and she's like, "Hey, try this." And I was like, oh, "This is the greatest thing in the whole world." <laughs> and I smoked on them for a long time. <laughs> what were they called? Uh, those were Cosmos, I think. Like Cosmos, co- co- this is take to space. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> they were so bad. I was in, um, or no, so when I went back and lived in Russia, um, I did What? A, oh, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Listen back to all the episodes. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll tell you off the um, air. But um, I went to, to Moldova to visit for a little bit, and I was... Um, walking past like the embassy row or whatever and there's these guards that just like stand like all along there and they're always just like trying to bum cigarettes off you as you're you know walking along and i smoked camel um lights over there by then um which were actually superior to the camel lights here but mm. this whole other thing but they were kind of expensive they were like you know a dollar fifty a pack what? <laughs> at the time yeah yeah so um I got tired of well, not at the time. Russia didn't have any like taxes on it. Oh, okay. Oh, or or Moldova wow. didn't either, I guess, in this case. But um, I got tired of bumming them out to the um, to the uh, all the guards along the embassy row. So I, w- I went to the kiosk one day, bought my pack of Camel Lights, and I also bought a pack of Cosmos, which basically they taste like smoking sawdust. So uh, and then I'm walking down out. walking down the <laughs> road, and the you know the guards are like, hey man, can I bum a cigarette? Like yeah, sure. Pull out the pack of Cosmos, and they're like, hey, you know what? I'm good. Oh. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> worked every fucking time. They That's just, awesome. They just wanted the good ones from you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they probably had their own pack of that in their pocket. They're all, <laughs> exactly. they're all, that American, he smokes those camel lights. Let's did, make sure. Did you ever smoke those camel wides? I did. They're like as big as a oh, McDonald's yeah, straw. Yeah. 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 What? Big old fatties. To, yeah, they're yeah. fat. I think like, you can still get those, can't you? I used to like them. I really did. I, didn't, I don't know. They didn't do anything. And then I, did, I, I smoked the Marlboro 72s for a while. Because uh-huh. I thought, you the know. Little short, yeah, short they're Yeah, they're short. And it's like, I won't be getting as much. It's kind of like cutting back. <laughs> I, can, I can still smoke a pack a day, but I'm not really smoking a pack a day. Because they're... Man, it's like as soon as I would finish one, I was like, I need a little bit more, so I'd light up another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like now I'm smoking a pack a yeah. half a day. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, they can't, you know. Um, I've only ever smoked cigarettes like socially, and I have to be really drunk to want to do it. And I'm, I'm thankful that I've never had that addiction. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's no, not I wish I did. Fun. It's not. It's, it's really, really not. not. Yeah. No, because anytime we try to quit, it's like me and Lady Lord just fight. Oh, we fight. And that's it's the like, thing too. Is we never fight. But all of a sudden, it's just like we're both just bitches yeah, to each other. Yeah. Both so everything is sensitive and you personal. You can't quit and, separately. Like, uh-uh. There's no way that would work. And about two weeks in it's like you know what I don't want to fight anymore I don't need to just smoke <laughs> <laughs> you know we need we need to just fight through it and just be like look I, we're, we're going to hate each other for about a month yeah. maybe six yeah. weeks but in three months we'll be, we'll be thankful that we did this and let's just get through it but yeah. Yeah. kids and stuff I mean it's just it's so miserable yeah well I actually quit vaping last week and I was like doing real good and then we did the video and oh. I was like I need something it didn't help that I was like over there sitting in the corner. Puff the yeah. <laughs> like a fucking little puff the magic panda. Little nimbus and cloud over there. It was nice. Puff the magic panda. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. All right. Well, I guess so. Um, they can find the EP on Spotify. Yeah. Apple Music. Whatever. Look for on Bandcamp pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's one L, P H A N T. O M E L O. Yes. Right? Not two L's. Phantom E L O. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Phantom Electric Light I've Orchestra. Been, yeah, That's what exactly. I was just thinking too. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm texting people, I've been uh, abbreviating it to P Mello. I've been. I, I call, P-Mello. Yeah, I call you guys P like Mello too. Yeah, I've, I've put yeah, P Mello like in there before. Good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done the same thing. Yeah, we have a lot of weird which abbreviations for me. We text each other about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but um, all right, yeah, they can find those. And then the um, last band you wanted to um, Kyoto Lo-Fi, Kyoto Lo- yeah, Kyoto. those are our boys. So like, I have to say, like, I have to be real for just a second, and like, like the two bands right now that are just blowing my mind, me Motor Scooter, Aww. Kyoto Lo-Fi, like, like for me right now, like that's it, that's it. <laughs> we used Paul's van in our last music video. Oh yeah. 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 Paul from Kyoto Lo-Fi. Yeah, he, he's cool, man. I like mm-hmm. Paul. He's a good dude. And yeah. the name of the song is 
Go dot. Go dot. Go dot. Go dot. And so they have an EP coming out or out or? Um, I actually today was just kind of nudging them towards Taylor Tash. I was like, dude, mm-hmm. go. I think that go yeah, meet Paul these guys and like because this guy will will crush it for you mm-hmm. and you're you're gonna be happy. And like mm-hmm. those guys are always pumping out songs. I'm just like, I can't believe they're not huge. Mm-hmm. I just can't believe it. they've they've exper- yeah. um, Paul was telling me the other night that they've kind of experimented with a lot of different studios and haven't been super satisfied. Yeah, I'm like you motherfuckers haven't recorded with me. I know. Yet, but. You got played with them. Right. Taylor. Taylor. Go. Taylor's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all played with them in October. Oh, that was your. We played with them a lot. Yeah, that was your last EP release, or your last. That was your full mm-hmm. album release. It was. Yeah, they're okay. they're they're fantastic, man. And like Nico is just like a monster on mm-hmm. stage. Oh he's my so god! Really, and then you get off stage. Fun. He gets off stage and he's just like this cool, like super chill dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked sense of humor, though. Yeah, he's dude. making me laugh all day today. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool. So, you guys have any uh, shows coming up you want to promote? Uh, um, well, the thirty first with you guys. Oh, that's right at Lowe's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Us in Garage Barrage. That's gonna oh, be really? so mm. fun, man. It's May thirty first. May thirty first. May thirty first. May thirty first. I might go camping that night. Oh, <laughs> camping out at Lola's. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think I'm going but, camping uh, that weekend. It's the last day of school. Oh, uh, is it right? Uh, well, you do you, man. I'll, I'll, be, the rest, I'll, be, the rest, I'll be there. The rest yeah. of the rest of the rest of the world will be there. Yeah. 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 But uh, yep. girls in every band, by the way. Mm-hmm. Which is which is cool. That cool. is true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Girl power. Girl power. Yeah. Megan. Mm-hmm. Rebecca. Mm-hmm. And P money. P money and P mellow. <laughs> so is Panda your real name or is it just a nickname? It's uh, my nickname. Yeah. I don't like to admit that. <laughs> no, because <laughs> she don't. barely ever tells anybody that. Nice oh. job. Oh. No, because clawing for laughs. Wow. It suits you. Like when I first saw you, you know, um, and then um, I think Chris told me that, that your name was P- P- Panda. I was like, oh, it couldn't be anything but Panda. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I told my mom. I was like, Mom, I'm gonna legally change my name to Panda. And she's like, You better not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But Panda's cool. I mean, I, don't, I know. I get it as your mom because I know that my some of my kids are like, "Why did you name me?" I'm like, your name's cool. Stop she doesn't it, even you know? call me Amanda. She like she she's Filipino, so she calls me Manda. Manda. Uh-huh. My brother's name's so Adam. It, so she calls really. She calls you Adam Manda. Well, like yeah, my brother's name's Adam. So like she'll like be yelling, calling our names to be like Amanda Adam or Adam Amanda. So whatever she says last, that's who she's really calling. So you have to <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> There was there was quite a few years where I would just yell, Have you Brian Katie? I just, I just would I wanted all and of then, them to just come running. <laughs> but none of them would come. No, they all did. Oh. No, my children are perfect. Oh. Remember? Oh yeah. Yes, thank you. My dad, like, uh whenever we'd be like calling from upstairs would be like, Mom he would go, Yes. See <laughs> 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 so I'm the exact opposite because Zayas has always been that. He's like, Mom. I'm like, leave her alone. <laughs> He's like, Mom. I'm like, leave her alone. She's doing something. Mom. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that was my dad's big laugh for the days. Like, <laughs> <laughs> My dad would always sing songs to me that I didn't know were songs uh-huh. until, like, when I was older. Uh-huh. And, like, I would, I would come across this stuff and be like, I thought that was something that, like, my dad made up. Like, there's, a, there's an old um, country song that where, where, where the guy's like, hello, wall. Well, it's been a long time, and he's singing to this because nobody's listening to him. So he starts singing to this wall. Uh, well, who's that? Um, oh, I should know like this that. since I'm on that. On that kind of field kick right yeah. now. But um, yeah. So when I I'm, think it comes out as a teenage yourself. boy, you know, my dad would try <laughs> to ask me questions, and I'm just like, whatever, old man. And I'm, I'm just ignoring him, you know, on the phone or whatever. And he he would start going, "Hello, wall." He would start <laughs> singing that song, and I thought uh-huh. he just made it up. You know, I had no idea. And one day I heard that song on the radio. I was like, "Holy crap!" Oh, and, that's and, crazy. Yeah, he was always plagiarizing people. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always made up songs. Oh, fair and young. I would have I would have guessed somebody else. Hmm. Hmm. Dads are dads are characters. There's For even real. a genre of music, dad rock, you know, cuz they're mm-hmm. so charactery. 
what is yeah. dead rock i know it's eric griffey <laughs> yes <laughs> but, yes very much eric griffey but it's more than that right and ian mccannion <laughs> you think dead, oh. so is the garage oh. dead rock oh with their terrible jokes yes <laughs> I mean, because it's because i'm a dad i don't really know, uh, you know i like is everything that i like dead rock <laughs> yeah, starting to question everything now pretty much hello walls was written by willie nelson ah, oh, okay wow hey. 1960 that's crazy yeah you know when you think about how how old he is how old is he? Uh, Dude, he's like 90 or something. Yeah, right? He's gotta be in his late, 80s. Late 80s. Okay. Yeah. Gotta be. Gosh. Well, here. I'll tell you since I've got... Willie Nelson pulled up. He was up. born in 1933. Whoa. He's 85. No, and that's a dude that's like... Country people like him. Hippies and stoners like him. You know, rockers, rockers like, like him. him. It's just like mm-hmm. everybody likes him. And it's like, how do you become that guy? It's mm-hmm. to where you transcend a lot everything. of pot. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he also mm-hmm. played guitar well. He's got a great voice. But I mean, mm-hmm. in the country and western scene, he was always the redheaded stranger. He had the long hair and the yeah. braids and the beard. And when everybody else isn't doing that, he was just he was being who he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, so likable. Yeah. yeah, he does funny things like smoking weed on the White House and stuff. Like, that's so <laughs> awesome. Like who would, who doesn't think that's awesome? No, know? didn't he remember, remember he had he had one? Didn't he like? Um, I make a record for the sole purpose of paying off his taxes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Of, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because he had a tax bill. He had a tax yeah. bill, and he's like, I'm going to make a new record. And it's like, this, all the money for this record goes to paying off my taxes. And yeah. it was known. That's what that he was. That is so funny. I was driving yeah. down 35 one time, and I swear I saw him on a motorcycle. I was like, hey, that's Willie Nelson. Yeah. Like, wow. right next to me. If you go back way back when, though, you can find him with short hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and a suit. Well, and, and, did, and doing like a 50s kind of rockabilly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. It's, it's yeah, because cool. I mean, he was like 20 in 1953 or whatever, so he was doing yeah. that kind of his yeah. uh his older sister has actually been his piano player in his band since the beginning wow the whole time she still plays with him that's mm. cool huh. that's super he owns cool. a couple of studios down in austin too yeah but i think one of his yeah. like nephews runs or something mm. yeah, I, I think that's got to be the shit to be somebody like willie nelson yeah to live I that kind of right. life and you know mm-hmm. just still be doing what he's doing mm-hmm. you know yeah. revered by all and, oh yeah you know very talented songwriter. Yeah. It was a yeah. while for that's, that's the thing. every Sunday for several months. I would get up and I, w- I would get up and while we were getting ready for church, I would put on Stardust. That, nice. that album's fantastic, wow. yeah. and it's a great Sunday album. It's a great Sunday morning. I mean, it's not churchy. It right. just has a really good. That's vibe or that's cool. I don't even. I don't. I'm not a conscious usually by Sunday morning. Yeah. Still sleeping off some some angst from the night before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't go to church this morning because of last night. Uh, we're supposed yeah. to. We just all woke up late and didn't get ready in time. We were all dragging ass. <laughs> Sorry about that. that <laughs> Don't even apologize because it was, was like, the time of our lives. Yeah. And and she was like, oh, she's yeah. like, do you have a headache? I was like, yeah, I got a headache. Of course <laughs> I have a headache. She's like, yeah, were me you, too. Were you drinking last night? We had a couple of drinks. Oh. Jeff they have a drink, Grandma. They have a heavy hand, though. They I had, do. I had two. Oh man. I had two drinks, and it, it felt like Shout four. Out to you know. Yeah. Those shots are like it's like a pint, man. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> no, because I had two drinks and a beer and I probably or had cider. Three or four. That's what any like we. I always call it the Fort Worth pour because anytime yes. I go somewhere else, you know, they're like they got the jigger. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. One. Here yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Fort Worth. I just say mm-hmm. when. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But you see, like, they put the ice in the cup, and you see them start pouring the whiskey, and they're, like, it's, like, three-quarters of the way up the cup, mm-hmm. and then they're all... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, that's kind of what it felt like, because it was, like, whew, like that first... Yeah. It's, like, gasoline. Yeah. It's I could nice. Light, I could light my lighter. Go, uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, man, it's fun. Hey. You know, hang out. I, I keep on doing this, but we should probably end this at some point. Yeah, I'm very yeah. sleepy. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. thank you for having us. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's pretty cool. That, you know? like, yeah, no, cause I've been ch- kind of watching y'all, you know, over like the last year, and every time I see y'all, I was like, ah, it's just, I really like you guys. Oh, you appreciate know? that, man. Thank you. And, and, it, and it seems like you're doing well, too. It seems like that, you know, you're getting yeah. recognized around town and playing more shows and with better bands and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Means, but, yeah. It feels good. It feels yeah. good, you know, and making cool friends, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, well, it's cool. Um, I guess everything. Do you have anything? You said you had something. Oh, that's um, May thir- if you're in thirty first. If you're in San Antonio on Saturday, I'll be playing at the Bang Bang Bar. I feel like something's going on next Ooh, week. That sounds like a fun is. bar. Oh, it's pretty fun. Dustin's playing. It's actually real fun. Is the spectacle next Friday? And me thinks. Uh, I think it might it's, be. Is it? It's it is next Friday the twenty sixth at the, the Tin Panther. Oh, okay. Dustin, are, I love you. Are yeah. the me still on that bill? They are. 
for now. Okay. So Trash Pockets and I were talking about I, that last I night. Told, I told Trash Pockets that in a pinch, I will step in for Ray. Mm. Damn, That'd be awesome. That would be so awesome. <laughs> I hope that happens. <laughs> that would be so great. I, I'm I want confident I could play his bass parts. I am not No, I want to hear you sing Loud and Sucky. Yeah, I want to hear you know, sing them all, dude. Million Dollar uh, Gumball and yeah. stuff. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> well, if if I'm called, all right, I will step up. Nice. Cool. <laughs> and, yeah. and we're starting to watch the rookie practice next week too. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's now what we could on. do? They could uh, if they could get just a vocal track of Ray. Maybe I could because oh. I've, I've got the bald head and I have these little glasses right here. <laughs> maybe I could on. just stand up there and like lip sync Ray's Wait part. Just <laughs> a second. Did you guys hear what JoJo said? Mm-mm. He starts washed up rookie practice next Ooh, week f- just for the release. Oh, okay. Uh, no, oh, wait a second. I am band rich, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of bands you want to be in? Yeah. But no, me and Rebecca are going to play um, with Watch the Brookie for their release. Cool. Since we made their record sound so pretty. Dude, that's rad. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you are. Have you seen? I've got a my picture big deal. in the paper. Oh right yeah, here. let me see <laughs> it. Oh, it's great. Wow. All right, that's enough. Hey, we haven't shared a we haven't shared a, a, um, a stage with you guys in a while, but we did share a page with you guys. Oh, I saw oh, that. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is right up in there. Yeah, yeah. Ian got, uh, Ian oh, got yeah. The double duty. Yeah, I saw that. I know Ian was like, "Look at me, I'm in here I twice know, too." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Patrick Higgins. You rule. Yeah. And thanks for letting my mom know I still smoke, Patrick. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Tim Panther on Friday. Spectacle. Me thinks. Me thinks. I don't know who else. Doesn't then, matter. In May, in May, you can see the Me Thinks again at Hotham City yeah, Theater. Yeah, May 4th. Beautiful. Me thinks it shall be dope. It will be. Yep. I'm sad I won't be there. Sorry, Dustin. Oh, because you'll I be. I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be in Boise still. Yes. I'll be home on Saturday. So I can be here next Sunday. Hey. What's next Sunday? The 28th. We're doing Nathan Payne. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have to do all like the um, the business of the show. No, I was trying to think of <laughs> I was trying to think of a way that I could have because Godot is G O D O T. Mm-hmm. There has to be a go joke in there, but I couldn't come up with it. So we got to get out of here. Whoa. So let's play the song. I got a Godot P. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for me. Uh, <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks. <laughs>